And last night, we did our 50 RPM spin where we spun the blades very slowly and carefully and exercised the servos to control the angle of the blades. And that was very successful. And we have here a quick video that the Mascam Z took of those of the helicopter spinning in the distance. So from there, the rover was about 40 meters away. And so we're able to look at the telemetry in very good detail and verify that the, the blades moved and the, and the blades spun as expected, and it looks very good. So what's it gonna be when we fly? So the flight, as Mimi mentioned, will happen at 12.30 in the afternoon on Mars time, which will be about 8 p.m. on Earth time on Sunday. And then later on in the evening, the data will be relayed back to Earth by the Perseverance rover through an orbiter. And then we will be waiting here in the control centers at NASA for that data to come in. We're expecting that data around 12 midnight, early Monday morning. And so what's the first flight gonna be? It's gonna be a very careful flight just to do the very first checkout because it'll be our first flight. And we're gonna, we're gonna lift off, we're gonna go up to about three meters. We're gonna rotate in the direction of the rover and we're gonna take a picture and then we're gonna settle back down. The whole flight from the moment the blades spin up until we land again will be about 40 seconds worth of time. That's the time we felt safe doing it on our first flight given the energy levels that we're seeing and we wanna make the very first flight a safe one. As you can see in the accompanying animation, that's what the flight will look like. So one of the nice things about the helicopter is that it has cameras on board and we have a downward pointing black and white camera that we use to do our navigation. It's fused with other sensors like an inertial guidance sensor and an altimeter. And as we're flying, we're taking pictures 30 times a second of the surface and the software is detecting features. And then as the helicopter moves, those features move with it and the helicopter can do an estimate of what those what the rate and direction of the helicopter motion is. So that black and white camera is our primary camera that we use for navigation. Here is a picture that we took downward facing on the day that we dropped. And you can see it's slightly overexposed, but we, we've been tuning it over the last few sols to get better pictures. But that's really the view, of what the helicopter is gonna see while it's flying. And it'll pick out those features on the ground, the rocks. That was one of the reasons we selected this terrain is because the features are very nice for that feature tracking. So as those features drift, the software can detect those dri that drift. Secondly, we have a 13 megapixel color camera that's pointing towards the horizon. And that picture will take a few of those pictures during each flight so that we'll get a live picture as we're aloft. And here's a picture underneath the rover on the day that we dropped. Now there was a picture that went out that was a low resolution version of this picture, but in the meantime, we've been able to retrieve the high full glory 13 megapixel picture, and that will be out on the NASA website soon. So this is kind of an idea of what, what kind of resolution that we'll get from those pictures as we take them 